Hi everybody, and welcome to Once Upon a Scarf, where we celebrate the art of vintage scarves, from luxury silks to risque hankies. So, I've got this little rayon souvenir scarf, and it's bursting with a story. I'm just not sure which way the story goes. Well, it definitely goes in a heterosexual direction. But beyond that, viewers, I'm flummoxed. Is it a wink-wink, nudge-nudge to the dirtier minds of the 1950s when it was made? Or is it pure as can be? And shame on me for seeing what I think I see in one corner. Stay tuned. If you're curious, this one calls for a vote. I'm the author of two classic books on vintage fashion. Secondhand Chic and It's Vintage Darling. I'm a huge fan of the luxury, affordability, and in this case, peek through the keyhole of what our parents and grandparents got up to behind closed doors. So, ranging around the four corners of this scarf, one starts off totally conventional and totally sweet. A memento of a lovely trip to the seaside coast of Cornwall in England, which, for war-wracked Brits in the last century, was a welcome escape to sand, seagulls, and some pretty impressive waves. And, if there was any luck at all, a day or two of actual sun. Here on the scarf, we see the charming coastline with typical beachfront facades, the moorlands farther inland, and local points of interest. There are fishing boats and a mom drying clothes on a wall. So sweet, it conjures a jolly place with ice cream and beach huts and really bad sunburns if you are actually lucky enough to see the sun. But because the weather was so routinely unpredictable, you had to have a sense of humor about all of it. And in the mid-century in England, that manifested in an interesting way, which brings us to the fourth corner of our scarf, where it all goes a little funky. Help me out here. Do I see what I think I see? Here's the case against. The rest of the scarf is so innocent and sweet, and really, really nicely detailed. But there was another side to the British seaside escape, and that was a popular art form called the Naughty Seaside Postcard. These flourished from the 1920s on and produced some offensively sexist panels, which, if you're able to let that go, and I'm not judging, are also pretty hilarious. A lot of them got formally banned by local authorities for being bottom-heavy with innuendo. I don't know about you, but the bald head and the carefully rendered side bosom here on the scarf are making me think this was totally deliberate. So, surf's up, and that's not the only thing. This cowabunga bunga treasure certainly made somebody very happy back in the day. What say you? Is this scarf story pure or very naughty indeed? Please let me know in the comments below. And that's today's scarf story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more.